How to live as an INFJ male In this video, we are going to take a look at how to live as an INFJ male. INFJs are among the rarest personality types. These introverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging characters have a hard time being understood by the people around them. Therefore, it goes without saying that they bump into some problems in their lives. Whether it be in terms of the jobs that they are doing, or the relationships they are in, INFJ males might feel that they can't quite achieve a sense of balance in their lives. So how can you live as an INFJ male? We'll take a look at that shortly, but before we do that, we would like to tell you that we make these videos for you for free so that you understand yourself or the people around you better. You can support our endeavors. You can subscribe to our channel with the notification bell. Also, don't forget to give this video a like. Okay, if we're all set, let's dive into how to live as an INFJ male. Number 1. Stop overthinking One of the things that makes it pretty difficult for an INFJ is the fact that there are numerous thoughts they have. This might make them border on the edge of overthinking. Even when INFJs might be perceived to be listening to someone, they might be having a train of thought that seem to wander off to distant places. In order to live as an INFJ, you can try to be involved in activities that are more engaging and give you less time for thinking. You can try to learn some new skill sets which give you less time to be absorbed in the world of your mind and more involved in reality. Number 2. Find the right balance in your work If you are an INFJ, you might not be interested in your typical jobs. You will most definitely be looking for creative jobs that involve you in the arts or the sciences. But being successful and getting paid well in a creative job takes a lot of time, so you must find a job that takes care of your financial expenses. In the meantime, you should also keep your creative juices flowing and pitch in your work in the right places. In his brilliant book, Steal Like an Artist, Austin Kleon suggests that you find the right balance in your work by looking for day jobs and also letting the artistic voice speak out. Number 3. Make Yourself Heard If you are an INFJ, you might feel that it is not worth expressing what you feel in the risk that the other person might get hurt. But that isn't the most proper attitude to have. You shouldn't repress your feelings too much. Always remember that in a relationship, balance is the key. So you shouldn't expect others to know you if you don't say what you feel or how things are supposed to be. If you do that, the other person will also change the way they act or speak around you, giving a sense of harmony in your relationship. Number 4. Finding a proper amount of external stimuli what is really difficult to do for an introverted person is to know how much of a stimulant the external world might be to you. If you're spending too much time on your own, you might not function as speedily or as efficiently. So you should also meet other people who can refuel your creativity or give you a well-deserved break from your routines and get you kick-started on your next project. Number 5. Learning to control one's impulses one common thing that is associated with an INFJ male is that they can be riding on their impulses too quickly. Say you are marking your anger on the scale of 0 to 10, an INFJ might jump from 0 to 10 in no time. And this is also true for other forms of emotions. INFJs are also known to become too seriously intense. One of the important arts that you can learn is to have some sort of hold over the flow of your emotions. For this, you can practice some yoga or meditation that'll give you some control over your thoughts as well. Number 6. Don't plan for everything Sometimes we tend to lose our sense of spontaneity when we plan for everything right ahead. And this is more true for an INFJ male. They want to know beforehand where they are going for an outing because they want to dress up in a certain way or know if the occasion merits certain kinds of conversations. This can make them quite fidgety in case you chop and change your plans halfway through. All of these add up to the fact that an INFJ loses his spontaneity, and this does you no good. So learn to embrace the things that life throws at you without wanting a predetermined answer beforehand. Number 7. Redefine your self-worth 
Many people have different definitions of the worth of a given person and the societal pressures to conform to a particular worldview. An INFJ male might not have felt normal while growing up as they were not your regular masculine types. This is because, as a child, the constant pressures for them to man up might have affected them and therefore find their self-worth degraded. So, if you're an INFJ male, you need to redefine the traditional concepts and learn to be encouraged to do the same. Number 8. Drop your guard Keeping your guard up all the time will not allow you to accept the genuine kindness or grace of others. This also doesn't allow you to reflect on your mistakes and take other people's voices into consideration. While one might think that staying silent instead of arguing is the way to go, it often means that the other person is trying to avoid conflict. And avoidance doesn't take you anywhere. You might as well drop your preconceived notions of how things ought to be rather than what they are. And you might see circumstances change for the better. Number 9. Don't hide your nervousness. Sometimes we tend to hide our nervousness. And while we do this, we are building too much insecurity inside us. Sometimes just admitting that you are nervous tends to shrug off your nervousness altogether. The other thing you can try to do is share your feelings of nervousness with others so they can help you out and manage your emotions a lot better than handling them yourself. Number 10. Know your quiet zones. Quiet zones are the places of strength for an INFJ male. This is where they find inspiration for their creative endeavors. So you need to identify the zones when the silence propels you to become a better version of yourself. You might think that your home might be the only place where you can find your quiet, but more writers and creative personalities with the INFJ types are working in cafes or parks where they can work without others bothering them too much. This also gives them a chance to control their thoughts and not getting too lost in the world of their minds. If you fall in the category of a minority in a personality type, then it goes without saying that you will have some difficulties adjusting to the needs of others and figure out a way to achieve a sense of balance between expectations and the way you conduct yourself around them. What are the other methods you have come across as an INFJ that has helped you with a grand old question of how to live as an INFJ? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up in case you liked it and hit that subscribe button with the notification bell to not miss out on any of the new videos. In the meanwhile, you can watch the video on the screen.